another uh, theme that comes out whenever we're talking about digital to people is this uh, uh, this theme of talent and the apparent sort of uh, skill the, you know, the quoted skills gap in the UK uh, and I'm sure it's more than just the UK um, yet when we look around London you know, we're, we're overlooking you know the Tower of London and London Bridge now but from here down to Shoreditch and all around and actually in hubs all around the UK there seems to be talent everywhere. There are startups popping up all over the place. So what is it about this talent gap? Is it just big corporate complaining, or is, it, <laughs> is, is there genuinely a problem? I think there's genuinely a problem in, in some areas. And, and, and you know, data is actually a good, to, a classic example of where data scientists are quite hard to get. But there's lots of you know, IELTS developers. There's lots, of, there's lots of gaps. And so I do think it's, it's, there's a proper gap, and, and it is a challenge. Um, but I think it's also how corporates tend to approach it. So I think historically corporates have been quite narrow-minded in terms of how they look to recruit. Um, I think that job specs would typically say we want you to have you know, a 2-1 in a computer science degree and this sort of thing. And I think that we're beginning to wake up to the fact that technology is a, a broad range of people with a broad range of skills. And actually, we need to be more creative in terms of um, taking people with potential and helping to train them up uh, and to be uh, less sort of fixated on, on maybe they've done this degree from this university. So here at News, uh, we've put in a, a sort of rehaul of our talent management program looking at how we recruit our reputation externally, the type of skills we're trying to attract and um, looking at how our job specs are writ written, our recruitment processes. We want to be able to get from a job spec to offer in two weeks. So we are competing with startups. Absolutely. And, and corporates don't do that, they take months. Mm -hmm. But we can't afford to do that. Uh, we've worked with a number of organisations looking at uh, how you retrain people, so Makers Academy do a boot camp for developers, for Vigo do something similar with PhD students and data science. So looking to take people from different backgrounds and also looking at, um, for, for me, gender is, is really important and trying to attract more women into technology. So we've worked with FDM on a back-to-work scheme, uh, looking at people who've been out for maybe five, six years because they've had kids. So just looking at a number of different avenues and, and being more open-minded yep. to the marketplace. 